What's going on folks? So today I'm out in the deer woods and I'm going to set up a mock scrape near one of my bow stands using this magnum scrape dripper. So before we set it up, let's kind of talk strategy. So why am I using this? Why am I setting up a mock scrape in general? And why am I putting it right here? So right now it's mid-October. In Texas the rut seems to be kind of mid-November. Uh, maybe even late November if it's a hot year like this year is seeming to be. So it's a good time kind of to get into that pre-rut phase to get bucks kind of starting to go on that route. So the whole goal here is for bucks in the area to visit this spot more frequently. I've got a bow stand about 25 yards from where I'm standing right now and there's a rub on a tree right here and I've got a buck or two on camera. So I know that there's deer in this area but I want them to specifically come by this exact spot and a mock scrape, well any scrape, a real scrape or a mock scrape is a great way to do that because they want to leave their scent in a certain spot and then keep coming back to check on what other deer are leaving their scent. So that's kind of my thought process behind why I'm setting up a mock scrape right here. One of the benefits to using something like this Magnum Scrape Dripper is it leaves scent in the scrape, which you want. Deer are gonna do that naturally. So this basically just kicks it off, gets it started. Um, but that's just the actual scent. What the dripper does is it allows you to fill this up and it hangs above, above the scrape and then it drips only in the daytime. So basically it uses this little tube, as it gets warm, it flows out, as it cools down, it shuts off. So theoretically, that means deer are gonna smell it and come visit it in the daytime. I don't know that that's entirely true. I think deer are gonna come when they feel safe. So a lot of times it'll drip in the daytime and they'll come later that night. But that means it's not just flowing constantly. It means it can kinda pace itself uh, a little bit more regularly. So let's go ahead and open it up and get started. I guess it comes with a bunch of instructions, but it's pretty simple. You don't really need that. So this is basically a bottle of piss like I was talking about earlier. Now this, it's not real deer pee, it's synthetic. Um, but it, it smells like the scent that deer leave and that's great. And then this is the dripper. Basically it's got that little tube on one end, a little bladder, and then a string to hang it with. This is also a really good location for a scrape as well. There's a deer trail that runs right through here and we're setting up just to the side of it. Having a trail nearby means deer will be able to find it and access it easily, but you don't necessarily want it interrupting them right in the middle of the trail. This, let's talk about the tree where I'm hanging it. So, tree with no, no leaves on it. I haven't found it to really make any difference whether there's leaves on it or not. But what I like about this is you've got a limb that kind of forks out. We've got this bottom limb down here. And deer really like that. A lot of times they'll actually lick on those branches or rub their face against those branches uh, just to put more scent just on the branches. So they're leaving scent on the ground and up here. And what I like about this tree is it's got that fork that comes down but then still a branch right above it. So I can have this the dripper dropping scent right down on the ground right below where they're going to be rubbing. Now I don't want to touch any of the branches because I don't want to leave my scent on them. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of tear up the ground right here so they can see that it's a scrape. Kind of move some of this grass, rough it up a little bit so it looks like other deer have been scraping it so when they see it they know hey this is a scrape I know what to do. It doesn't need to be a really wide area and it doesn't need to be a deep hole either. Just having this one spot of bare earth right here basically just gives deer something to look for and something that they can actually scrape and tear up easily instead of this tall grass. Now that we've got the actual scrape area on the ground, it's time to hang the dripper. So I recommend hanging it first before you fill it. That way you can get it set up, get it tied on, get it the right height, all that. You don't have to worry about a bag of piss slapping you in the face. So now that we have the dripper hanging in the tree, it's time to fill it up. So basically I'll bend over the tree branch, unscrew the top, pour some of this in, screw it back. Now before I do that, I like to pour a little bit of this on the ground as well. Basically just to kind of kick start it a little bit. Some people will fill up the bladder and then try to squeeze some in there. 
but it kind of goes everywhere and I don't want this nasty stuff all over me, so I'm just going to pour a little bit directly in this grape. By doing it that way, I effectively get the scent down in the scrape and in the dripper. So theoretically every day, just a couple more drops will fall into that scrape, keeping it fresh. So every deer who walks in this area will smell it and want to check it out. So that way when I'm sitting right up there in my tree stand, the next time I come down here, hopefully I'll see a deer stop right there and I'll be able to put an arrow through them. So when you're done with this, definitely watch where you throw this bottle. I'm just going to throw it in the back of my truck for now and probably just throw it in a gas station dumpster on the way home because you don't want this sitting in your regular trash because guess what? It smells like piss. It really stinks. So be careful where you throw this. So I hope you found this information helpful, especially if you're going to try to set up a mock scrape near one of your bow stands this fall. They can definitely be effective in helping to bring in some deer, but it doesn't beat playing the wind right, playing the weather right, all that. So make sure you're doing everything and then just use this as a little a little extra trick on top. So again, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.